Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 safest countries in Latin America. When planning travels to unfamiliar destinations, it's really important that you take into consideration the political, economic and social risks of visiting that certain area of the world. Central and South America have a reputation for violence and unrest, so my advice is that you get a learning about the countries you're considering long before you book those flights. To simplify this, here's a list of the top 10 safest countries in Latin America for 2023. You'll see that there are proportionally more of the top safest countries in South America than Central, but the Central nations that do well do very, very well. It's simply a matter of knowing where to go and where not to go. Travelers love going to Latin America for its vibrant culture, fascinating history, natural wonders, and delicious food. In no particular order, here are the top 10 safest countries to visit in Latin America. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 safest countries in Latin America. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 safest countries in Latin America. Number 10. Guatemala. GPI 2022 Ranking, 106. A new entrant into the top 10 safest countries in Latin America since I started these guides a few years ago. Great to see Guatemala making an appearance here. It's seen an improvement in the homicide rate since 2021, but the country is sadly still known for femicide, usually within domestic relationships. From a visitor's point of view, caution and a keen eye are needed in assessing situations, but outside of the larger cities you won't feel too on edge. Number 9. Peru. GPI 2022 Ranking, 101. I'm glad Peru didn't rank too poorly on the list of safest countries in Latin America because it's definitely a must-visit for tourists interested in the rich history of this region, but its place has slipped significantly from 7th in Latin America and 86th globally in 2021. Luckily, you can explore all the wonders of Machu Picchu, Cusco and Paracas without looking over your shoulder the whole time. Some parts of the cities of course get dodgy, so wise up on the safer areas before you travel to Peru, or anywhere else, for that matter. Number 8. Bolivia. GPI 2022 Ranking, 80. To tell the truth, this one sort of surprised me at first, as while petty crime is quite common due to the relative poverty in Bolivia, violent crime isn't necessarily an everyday threat as long as you don't get involved in the wrong crowd slash cartel. Where Bolivia does not score well is in the militarization indicator, especially in the wake of the ousting of their hero turned cray cray fraudster, Evo Morales, back in 2019 and the political turmoil that has thrown them into. But aside from having to plan travel around road blockages and the like, this shouldn't affect visitors too significantly. Number 7. Ecuador. GPI 2022 Ranking, 79. Though it's climbed the rankings from 88th in 2021, Ecuador's place of 7th in the safest countries in Latin America is heavily influenced by the protests suffered over the last couple of years, standing a stand against everything from oil prices to wages and the handling of the pandemic by the government. Gang conflict is known to happen north in the Esmeraldas region, so tourists are generally told to avoid it, and I was specifically warned about muggings in Quito, especially in the highly touristic areas such as the old town where you're a sitting duck. However, in much of the country popular with visitors, such as Otavalo, Banyas and Cuenca, things do feel pretty safe. Number 6. Paraguay. GPI 2022 Ranking, 77. I feel like Paraguay is one of those countries that just keeps its head down and gets on with things. One thing I noticed when I visited Paraguay was that the wealth gap is huge, so people are either Sao Paulo elite wealthy or La Paz hilltops poor. Paraguay doesn't score too well on the economic cost of violence, which explores indicators such as armed conflict and internal displacement. I definitely felt a little on edge in some parts of Asuncion as there are several shanty towns right in the center, but it didn't help that we arrived during a protest against political corruption. However, in the richer parts of the city, people party like it's an NYC rooftop, pulling up in their Range Rovers with not a care in the world. Pick your areas wisely. Number 5. Argentina. GPI 2022 Ranking, 69. Argentina is more known for its political and economic instability, so as a tourist you don't need to be too preoccupied with the risk of violent crime. 
Most crime towards foreigners is petty, whilst there, I was victim to credit card copying in a restaurant in Buenos Aires, and then accused of being the thief in Rosario when someone had cash stolen off their bed in a hostel, spoiler alert, I wasn't. Again, protests can happen, and declaring bankruptcy every five years or so is a trick the Argentinian government is fond of which can make money hard to value and get hold of. COVID-19 may have sped up this pattern, so keep an eye on the economic situation before you travel. Number 4. Panama. GPI 2022 Ranking, 61. Panama is just. I don't know how to describe Panama without it sounding like a negative thing, but, neutral? Shell? Mild? Anyway, a key reason that Panama continues to sit near the middle of the top 10 safest countries in Latin America is that it suffered unrest in the last few years over reforms that the government tried to push through that were to have a significant effect on marginalized groups. These protests largely occur in Panama City, so are unlikely to affect travel across the rest of the country. Needless to say, the San Blas Islands are a very safe bet and a great detour when traveling from South America to Central. Number 3. Chile. GPI 2022 Ranking, 55. In the 2019 GPI, Chile scored the highest ranking of all the safest countries in Latin America, ranking 27th worldwide. However, ongoing civil unrest in reaction to a very unpopular government means that it has slipped from its pedestal in recent years. Away from the big cities, Chile's most beautiful areas are still very much peaceful, so keep up to date with protests and plan your trip to the ex safest country in South America accordingly. Number 2. Uruguay. GPI 2022 Ranking, 46. Top of the safest countries in South America, Uruguay is famed for its political stability and relative lack of violent crime. The GDP per capita is much higher than some of its neighbors, so there's less of a need for people to survive via desperate means. Education levels are high, and the climate is mild. Funnily enough, since arriving in Uruguay was the first time I ever stepped foot on South American soil, I remember being caught up in the continent's bad reputation and feeling entirely on edge for the first two weeks or so, even though it's technically safer than my home country. LOLs. Number 1. Costa Rica. GPI 2022 Ranking, 38. Long a safe haven for tourists wanting to dip their toes into Latin American travel without being too exposed to many of the dangers associated with this region, Costa Rica remains on top of the safest countries in Latin America to travel and has actually climbed one place in the rankings since last year. It has managed to gain this title despite an increase in violent demonstrations year on year and an influx of refugees from its neighbor, Nicaragua. The biggest crime against tourists in Costa Rica is the price of tours plus expectation for fat tips at the end. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 safest countries in Latin America? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 safest countries in Latin America in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.